Hi, I'm Mike Bellevue. I'm the Black Powder Editor for Guns of the Old West magazine. And in this series of videos, we're going to be shooting this Ruger Old Army Buntline to test different projectiles. Now we're going to test three projectiles. We're going to test a round ball. We're going to test a 225 grain conical bullet cast by a Lee Mold. And we're going to test Kato Ojama's custom conicals. Uh, and those, those have been pretty impressive in the past, so we'll see what they can do here. Well, this is the first video in the series, and today we're going to be testing round balls. Well, we're going to be testing these bullets in three ways. We're going to do some accuracy testing here on Evil Roy at 15 yards. We'll shoot five rounds on him. Then we're going to come over to the chronograph, and we're going to put five rounds on the chronograph to get our velocity for each of the projectiles. And then we're going to come over here to the water jugs and we're going to fire each of the projectiles into a row of water jugs and see how many jugs it can penetrate. Lately, uh, over the wonders of the internet, the, the modern telegraph, I've been getting some emails taking me to task for not wearing hearing protection in my videos. And I just want you to know that I always wear hearing protection whenever I shoot. But when I do these in-costume videos, I try to make it kind of, uh, you know, unobtrusive, right? So, you may not always see them, but they are always there. And there we go. See the little tail sometimes. So, I think it's very important that people wear hearing and eye protection when they're shooting, and I always do. Got a powder measure, and it's set for 35 grains. And I'm going to fill it from my flask. I'll get it good and full. And we'll just pour this right into the chamber. Next, I'll take a uh, Oxyoke Wonder Wad and fit that into the chamber and then top it with a Hornady Swag Drown Ball. Rotate it under the rammer and send it home. Now, I'm going to load five chambers and then we'll do some shooting. As far as the, uh, the balls go, we're using four, five, seven inch diameter balls because that's what a Ruger takes. Now, if we were loading, say, an 1860 Army, I'd be using four, five, four balls, but the Ruger chambers are bigger. Well, now the chambers are all loaded, as you can see, so we've got to cap it. So, I like to use this Ted Cash capper it holds about a hundred caps actually I got a little bit more in here and it's very simple just slide it right on and we're capped and we'll just do that for all five and we're good to go uh, I'm using Remington number 10 caps which which I find fit about the best and the final step in that process which I like to do is to take a dowel and just give each one a little push to make sure they are seated like that one had a little bit more to go right make sure they are seated all the way down and that's important because we don't want these things coming off under recoil that's how you end up with chain fires well let's put evil Roy to work with the round ball
I'm going to chronograph the uh, Ruger bunt line firing a round ball and 35 grains of Go X 3F powder. Now, I'm going to fire one shot on camera and then I'll fire four more that uh, will all get recorded, but I don't want to take up all of your time. So, right now we're trying to beat the weather. Looks like a thunderstorm is coming. It has been in the mid 90s and about a 72 degree dew point, so it's been pretty sweaty, but it looks like we're going to get cooled off. But I'd like to get this thing in before we do. So, 35 grains of Go X round ball, let's see how fast they go. Well, it's time for the penetration test. We are going to take our Ruger Old Army, loaded with a round ball, 35 grains of 3F Go X powder, and we're going to see how many one gallon water jugs it can get through. And it's a pretty hot day, so if I get splashed a little, I think I'm just going to be grateful. Well, the Go X powered round ball got through six of the water jugs. Well, that concludes the round ball test. In the next two episodes, we'll look at the two conicals, the 225 grain Lee conical and the 255 grain Kato conical. But if you'd like to know the answer on the back of the book before you see those two, here's the chart.